Hi guys, it's your boy Sivanos. If you are new here, make sure you click on the red subscribe button and subscribe to this channel. And also, click on the like of notifications so whenever I drop new videos, you always talk details and details. Don't also forget to follow me on Instagram at masterplace. I really, really appreciate that. So, today we'll be talking about, you know, Woodbury, you know, Woodbury is Hush Puppy's friend, and Woodbury and Hush Puppy got arrested at the same place in Dubai. And <coughs> Hush Puppy has been going through a lot of trials at, in the USA, and we've been hearing news about Hush Puppy. But we haven't really heard news about Woodbury. Late yesterday, I just got an information that you know, FBI collects first tranche of six million dollars from Woodbury's Bitcoin wallet. Let's take a look at what they posted. According to the court document from the United States District Court of Northern District of Illinois, U.S. U.S. prosecutors sought for future of any property derived from the proceeds of Mr. Police crime criminal enterprise through the violation of. 18 USC 1343 as alleged in counts 1 through 8 of the indictment. The United States seek for future of any property involved in or traceable to the defendant's violation, including but not limited to 151.8 blah 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 Bitcoin cryptocurrency. Pursuant to the provision of 18 blah blah, the court document said. The forfeiture filing was dated April 29, 2022, when Bitcoin trading was at 39,457, bringing the value of the whole to $6 million. In 2020, the FBI filed a complaint against Mr. Ponley regarding his criminal activity and how he used Bitcoin to conceal stolen funds from his alleged criminal activities online. The bureau noted that Mr. Poli had been using the same address, this address you can see on your screen, since 2014. The intelligence further reviewed how Mr. Poli and his accomplice engaged in a scheme known as Business Email Compromise, BEC, and subsequently defrauded American companies, and subsequently defrauded American companies of tens of millions of dollars, while converting $6.5 million into 1,500 Bitcoin. The United States government, through the Federal Bureau of Investigation, Assist 151.8 Bitcoin from the wallet of Ola Lekan Jacob Ponley, also known as Mr. Woodbury. Preliminary blockchain analysis indicate that Ponley received at least 1,494 Bitcoins related to these BEC schemes, valued at approximately $6.5 million at the time he received the proceeds. The court document, the document added. Mr. Ponley, also known as Mr. Woodbury and Mackin, was arraigned on a separate charge in Chicago last July. He was arrested in Dubai alongside Hush Puppy and was charged in the US court district in Chicago with conspiracy to commit wire fraud. Guys, what do you think about this? Like, I keep asking you guys this question. Do you think Hush Puppy and Woodbury can really get out of this issue? Do you think it's possible for Hush Puppy and Woodbury to, you know, come out of this? Personally, for me, a lot of people are saying, you know, Woodbury because Woodbury is a US citizen. U Woodbury might get out of this, but Hush Puppy might not get out of this. But to be honest, I just don't know what to say. I'm still speaking about Hush Puppy and Woodbury, you know, Abba Kari, the police officer who was reportedly dealing with Hush Puppy and doing things with Hush Puppy, doing business with Hush Puppy, brought business with Hush Puppy. He has been arrested for another crime which was about uh, drug cartel stuff and he was put in prison. Now, a report has come out that you know Abakari escaped death in prison. Our 190 inmates attacked him. The suspended intelligence response team leader Abakari recently escaped death, attempted murder by aggrieved inmates at the Kuje prison who accused him of not honoring his bribe for the release deals when he was active in service. According to Premium Times, there are plans to move the suspended intelligence re response team leader Abakari from Kuje prison where he is currently detained to the custody of his State Security Service SSS, also known as the Department of State Service. The last attack, according to the report, occurred on May 4th. The attackers, numbering about 190, are mostly in prison for drug related offenses. The inmates who attempted to end Abakari claim the disgraced Super Corp persecuted them despite taking bribes from them. One of the sources who spoke to the Premium Times, a state investigator and intelligence officer, described Carry as a dodgy criminal. Uh, quoting the image, one of the sources said Mr. Carry was eliminating smaller dealers to clear 
the field for Afam Kuta, a suspected Bologna drug baron, allegedly behind the 3 billion era tramadol deal linked to Mr. Kari. Inmates claim that upon arrest, Abakari demanded bribes to end the case, then still prosecute them. A Kuja prison source who assessed the testimony of the aggrieved victim inmates said, It was gathered that Kari had to pay each of the aggrieved inmates 200,000 naira in the initial settlement bill and then procured DSTV subscription for sales to buy loyalty and peace, one source said. Despite this, the aggrieved inmates have continued to threaten Kari's life, the sources said. An official recommendation has therefore been made that Kari should be transferred out of Kuja to an SSS facility. Guys, what do you think about these stories? Do you think, you know, all these are just made up stories for, for them to like see reasons, for them to like make it give him house arrest? A lot of people are saying this is just a strategy to move him into house arrest so that he won't be in prison. But guys, what do you think about this? Let me know what you think about this in the comment section. Still on, you know, law enforcement officers, you know, fake EFCC operative, infamous for harassing and extorting residents caught in Abia State. Guys, let's take a look at the video clip that was shared on Instagram. Yes, yes. Breaking news. Okay, so breaking news. Breaking news. It's time to be Breaking news. 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 Uh, what happened was that the this guy with his men last week arrested some guy you get and uh, when they arrested the guy they bust into his house collected the money from him then collected the, his uh, watch and gold necklace you guess after they collected all this they released him so this morning again the same guy with his men went for operation arrested some guy again collected uh, two million naira from those guys so the guy he they arrested last week was lodging at one jerobi hotel i will spell it for you jerobi hotel omar here and uh, so this morning he was leaving to go play football and uh, he when he was coming down he now saw the guy on the staircase when he saw the guy on the staircase he was like hello sir do you remember me the guy replied no so on close so when the guy now look at, uh, had a closer look to the guy, you now find out that the guy was wearing his watch and his necklace he collected from him last week. So he now called his so uh, his co-football members. They now came, apprehended him. They now called the police. Police now came and took him, and they now discovered that he was fake ESCC and he was even having a fake ID. Guys, what do you think about these stories and everything we talked about in this video? Please let us know your own opinion in the comment section. And if this is your first time here, don't forget to slap a like on this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Instagram at Masterplace. I really, really appreciate that. Let's get this video to 100 likes. I really, really appreciate that. Take care, stay safe. See you later for another video. Peace.